Ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, sugar, a lot of flour make gingerbread. But what you'll find inside the Ballantine Hotel right now is far more than just that. NBC Charlotte's Mike Hansen has that story. Santa. <laughs> Nearly 100 creations on display inside the Ballantine Hotel. There are three categories, professional, amateur, and child. For just $1, people are voting for their favorite. The castle. The money raised goes to help the Levine Children's Hospital. The goal this year is $14,000. Families say it's a nice way to spend time together. I think the first one is definitely my favorite. I think it's great. I think it's a great cause. Oh, this has been wonderful. We came from Massachusetts. We're spending a week here with my son and the family, and we're loving it. There's just such a magic. I mean, there's a magic in the Ballantine to begin with, but the Christmas season, it really gets amped up. After the votes are in, visitors can visit the Christmas hut. Built over four days, it features 400 tiles, 20 quarts of royal icing, coffee, and hot chocolate. The head pastry chef, Noel Gogg, says all the work is worth it. Families coming in, the children running around, the hot chocolate smells, the gingerbread, it's really all there. So you may wonder if your house will ever look like this. It turns out the Ballantine Hotel has some advice. I would say practice, just because to know your ingredients and to know how they work, what, how fast they dry, how much to pipe, it really is all just a matter of working with your ingredients and just getting better. So you still have a chance to vote and help some children in need. The gingerbread lane continues through the 26th. Reporting from the Ballantine Hotel, Mike Hansen, NBC Charlotte.